Bonjour, everyone. Welcome back to Transfer Talk. We've got an official bid, finally. After weeks of rumours, we can now report on an official transfer that could be happening in Newcastle United. Now, it's not definitely happening because this morning, Sky Sports News are reporting off the back of the Telegraph. Newcastle United have bid £40 million for Leicester City's midfielder, James Madison, and Leicester City have rejected that bid. Now, Leicester value James Madison, the England international, well, we're seeing the international, it's played one game, but he's floating around the circles, isn't he, of the England camp for quite some time. People think he was harshly done by it and not getting in last year, because his stats were actually really good last year. But I'm saying tracking a bit, let's just report the news first before we get into all of that. All right, early morning this, so it's a bit mumble jumble. Sky Sports have officially announced that Newcastle have had that £40 million bid rejected this morning for Leicester City's James Madison. They submitted the bid last night, rejected today. Now Leicester really need this money. They're absolutely skint. Due to financial fair play and the investments in their training ground and everything else, the money seems to have disappeared, vanished for Leicester City. No European football this year either. Leicester are the only team in the Premier League to not make a senior signing. Not just the Premier League, the only team across the seven major leagues in Europe to have not made one single signing this summer. That is mental. Has Mike Ashley took over there or what? How have they not made a single signing? Not even a free, not even a loan. Nout. So Leicester really need this money, but they're, they're acting like they don't, and you can understand why. They're top talent. They're, they're, they're pride and joy. Do you know what I mean? They're, they're golden asset in James Madison. He is only 25 years old. He's got his best years ahead of him. They're trying to keep a hold of him, but they're not in a way because apparently Dharma Chef from Sky Sports was saying Leicester would accept close at a £60 million. So Leicester value Madison at around £60 million. You'd probably be able to get him for about 50 million plus add-ons you know, over the rise to around 55, 58 million, which I think is honestly definitely worth it. I mean, there's a mixed thing on Twitter. Well, not everyone's really positive, but there was still some people saying no to James Madison. Like, are you absolutely mental? James Madison is an unreal player. Like, that would be an outstanding signing, like, absolutely amazing signing, and that came out of completely nowhere. And that's the thing that I said would happen, didn't I? I said, James Madison hasn't once been linked with Newcastle this window. I haven't done one video on Madison because not one journalist is reported, I've heard nothing, and then bang, out of nowhere, you wake up on a Saturday morning, hung over from the Friday night game, got the Saturday game today, everything's going on, and you've got this video to do. Jeremy Madison, bid rejected. It is official, so will Newcastle go back in with a, with a bid, you know, close at 50, 60 million? I think they will. I think they must have highlighted Madison as, the, as a key sign in this summer. Everyone's screaming and shouting, where's Paqueta, Lucas Paqueta, he's the midfielder, I want we can get him for 37 million. Yeah, that's true. And it is surprising because uh, I just pick, does Piquetta actually want to come? Because, you know, he's mates with Bruno and everything. He's handling his transfer request. I'm surprised Newcastle haven't went in for Piquetta if he was available. Because we all know the links have been there for ages. The, you know, the, the, the Bruno connection, everything else. So he's been to Newcastle and whatnot. But that's not, that doesn't look like it's happening because Piquetta plays mm, quite similar to Madison. I mean, Madison's very much a number 10, isn't he? He literally wears a number 10. But he is the number 10. Newcastle would be looking to play him behind Callum Wilson. You could also put him on the right if need be. He's played there throughout his career as well. Um, Paqueta would be more so that de definitely in the midfield three, wouldn't he? Making things happen, getting forward. So a bit of both, really. But yeah, Newcastle are valuing Madison instead. They could be looking at an ex-England superstar in James Madison. He's, he has played for England. He is floating around their international ranks. If Newcastle get him, and then he starts playing well for us, he gets in England side... He was only 25, like I've said, so by the time he reaches 27, 28, he could be starting for England and he could be representing Newcastle. You know, that's huge. Madison has played European football with Leicester. He's been there a few years now. He probably wants a fresh challenge. Leicester aren't pushing on because of the money situation, their FFP and whatnot. If Leicester fans could let us know exactly why that is, because, I mean, like I say, they, they, they seem to always have decent money and huge investment in the training ground and everything seem to be run really well. So I'd have to have a deeper look into that, but I haven't got time. It's Saturday morning and there's a match day today. So for now, Madison, you know what I mean? His stats are on the screen there now. He had a great impact last year, goals-wise. I mean, what was it? 18 goals and 12 assists across all competitions as that number 10. And he is impressive, you know what I mean? He does chip in with goals and assists. He scores some absolute belters, capable of worldly goals. He scores some great free kicks. He's a very good set-piece taker from corners as well. Not that we necessarily need that with trip yet, but if he gets injured, um, you know what I mean? But to bring that around... To bring that into the dressing room, that you know, that England international who's about to come into his prime, 
that's massive for me. And as I touched on before, like if people are saying like, oh, I don't know, are you insane? Premier League proven at the perfect age, ready to kick on, can play in the positions what we need where we lack massive creativity. This would be an outstanding thing. This would be really make people sit up and notice Newcastle United. If we went in with a 50 million pound bid, improved bid for Madison, and he came and he was wearing the black and white next season. I seen, to be fair, DL Sports, big up AGT, was just doing a, a little stream there. There was people in the comments saying, down if Newcastle saying Madison, they could get top five, top six. Probably wouldn't go that far. But that's the improvement that it is, and that's the recognition and the notice you're getting there. You know what I mean? Because Madison would be a massive signing. Massive Madison. Do you know what I mean? So will Newcastle go back in with an improved bid? I think we will. I think we will. And then I think Madison will be keen on it. Probably too keen, actually. He'd love the Newcastle lifestyle. Do you know what I mean? He got in a bit of bother with England and Leicester, didn't he? Breaking the lockdown rules and all that. Going to the casinos and that. But you know what I mean? I'm not going to focus on that. I'm going to focus on the on the pitch, what he's capable of. I've seen it in the flesh. I remember the League Cup. He was a right arsehole, he was whinging the whole time. You know, <laughs> he was whinging all the time to the referee, getting fouls, winding people up, but you kind of need that character on the pitch. And he was brilliant that day, he scored the penalty, and you know, he's, he's, he's played some very good games against Newcastle, actually, he's really caught the eye, he's a massive talent. If Newcastle could sign him, that would be huge. Huge, 40 million bid, rejected, Saturday morning. Leicester wants 60 million. Can they meet at around 50, 55 million? We'll wait and see. Drop your comments below how you feel about James Madison being linked to Newcastle United. Subscribe to the Bagpipe Channel TV. See you on the next one.